Hey guys, it's Conan. So a few weeks ago, I collaborated with Crayola to make a video that I'm sure some of you guys have seen. I really, really liked what I made for the video using the air marker sprayer, and I wanted to show you guys how I made everything and hopefully give you guys some tips on how you can make your own creations. I'm really, really happy to be collaborating with Crayola again for this video, and let's just get started showing how the air marker sprayer can magically turn any Crayola marker into spray art. To set it up, all you have to do is plug it in, choose a marker of your choice, twist it in, and it's ready to use. If you happen to be younger, be sure to ask a parent or an older sibling to help you out. First, you're going to want to pick a succulent to base the drawing off of. Then begin to sketch the succulent of choice onto some thick watercolor paper. You want to use watercolor paper because you're going to use a lot of layers of marker on this drawing. After sketching, we're going to begin coloring the drawing with the air marker sprayer. All I did was closely follow along the sketch lines. This makes it so that the color is more condensed near the leaves, creating a sense of shadows and highlights. This step doesn't need to be too neat because we're going to outline next. Once the marker is dry, you can start outlining the succulent with a thin pen. Next, cut off all the excess paper. And lastly, customize. I like to make the tips of the leaves a little accented just by coloring with some markers. I also like to add highlights with a white paint pen. And you're done! This one is where you really get to flex your creative muscles and use whatever stencils you want. I started with a quick drawing I did of myself with a black pen. Obviously, yours won't look the same as mine, so just draw whatever your heart desires. Using pieces of paper, I was able to create, like, makeshift stencils. That way, when I used the air marker sprayer, I could get sharp, geometric lines. I also used several layers of different colors, ranging from lightest to darkest, in order to create nice, smooth, gradient effects, which is why the air marker sprayer is so handy. I also cut out my own stencils and stuck them throughout the design. Then, when I use the sprayer on top of the stencil, an outline of the stencil is left behind. A galaxy effect is super easy to make with the air marker sprayer. All I did was just go crazy at a piece of paper with a bunch of cool galaxy-esque colors. I chose black, purple, two shades of blue, and a kind of like reddish pinkish color. What you're going for is a piece of paper that's kind of patchy and has just a ton of marker on it. Next, give the galaxy a few sprays of water. This makes it so that the colors start shifting around and really completes the effect. I chose to glue a cute quote that I wrote on my typewriter onto the galaxy because I'm going to send it to a friend after. Last, with some gold ink, I painted little stars and planets to really pull the galaxy together. By using the Crayola window markers, you are able to make designs onto glass and shiny surfaces. I decided to make this cute little constellation on my window by using some of the templates that are already included in the air marker sprayer box. Start by popping out all the stencils, then arrange the pop pieces onto your window however you wish. With the device, begin giving the area a few layers of color. Last, I just colored in the blank sections with a yellow marker, and it was done. So that's everything I have to show you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all the cool things that you can do by using the air marker sprayer. It's a super cool product and it's also super versatile so you can use it on just about anything. You can decorate things for your room, make cards for people, make personalized art. It's just really, really fun. If you make anything with the air marker sprayer, I'd love to see it. Please send me pictures using the hashtag air marker sprayer so that I can see what you make. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would really appreciate it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, and also click the subscribe button if you want to see more of me. See you guys next week with a brand new video. Goodbye! To the other side.